But the ones that live in this zip code, they're not going to open up Booker T for our kids. They're not going to open up Edison for our kids. They're going to send them to McLean. They're taking away their choice. It would have been just as easy for the board to say, okay, we're, we're, instead of bringing a transition team, we're going to bring in a corrective team. We're going to bring every resource to bear. We're going to give you a solid year. And if you don't have it together in that year, we're shutting you down. But, to, but to, to make that decision now puts it in the media. It, 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 we run the risk of losing even more students, right? You don't have a school if you don't have students. So it's systematic. It's systematic. Nothing. We had 20 letters of support from community leaders, including the sheriff. Two former senators were there to support us yesterday. A former DEA agent who runs our in-house. This is a former drug cop. You think if there was teachers smoking weed in a car and a former drug cop is in this building that he would not have the responsibility and the obligation to say something about that? It never happened. It's uncorroborated. And so they used a, the SRO memo as the, the, the predicate to say, okay, now we got something here. Now we can shut them down. They're working best. There's no other school I want to go to. That's, that's just period. This school is the best thing that ever happened to me in the best years of my life has actually been here. And if anyone asked me, I would tell them immediately. When I came into Lake City Academy, I was passed through all through elementary and all through middle school. And when I got here and I was on third grade level my freshman year when it came to reading. Um, teachers, obviously, they had put me in the right classroom and pretty much invested in me like no one else has. And now, like, not only am I taking college classes, but I'm, like, valedictorian of my class. You know, you just, you grow so much when someone is actually watering you. And it just, and it kind of hurts to know that there's a lot of kids out there who don't have opportunities like Link to Youth Academy. And it does hurt to know that the state is trying to take the opportunity from kids now. But it's like, we just a big family here. Like, I've learned that had more opportunities here than I've ever had at any other school. Like, I did Tulsa Tech. Like, I feel like at Union, for you to do Tulsa Tech, you have to be a perfect student. Mm -hmm. Like, perfect grades, no trouble, all of that. Mm -hmm. I've, we, I've had, we've had opportunities to go um, visit Verizon. We've done a lot of stuff that I've never had done at Union. Visit, yeah, visit. Yep. Oh, yeah. And the teachers.